the test is going to be 21 questions. Where is this? All right, um, here's what we've gone over the last three weeks. Uh, we, so the three weeks started like the end of September, uh, like the 28th of September or something. Uh, and so this was everything below the end of September was the last six weeks and on the last six weeks test. Um, and then we're picking off here uh, with the Big Bang Theory. So we went over stuff about the Big Bang Theory. Um, we did a... A couple of assignments on understanding the universe. Hey, shut up. So we're talking about what? what's going on? No, like, why are you looking back there? Look up here at the review. Uh, come on. Close your Chromebook. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so we went over some stuff on understanding the universe, uh, talking about galaxies, stars, um, distances between the stars, uh, how the stars are formed, how they die. Um, their life cycles based on whether they're large or small. Uh, we went through next divisions of geologic time, which is we've done a couple assignments for. And then we very quickly went over um, the actual development of the earth, uh, structure of the earth kind of stuff uh, yesterday. And you did a multiple choice assignment on that. So that's the stuff that's going to be on the test. Um, we're going to go over it a little bit right now um just through some of these things to kind of recap um if you want to study and if you are going to study i would suggest going back through some of these old assignments that you've done uh and, and using that to kind of catch up um but all these questions are from the assignments that you've already taken uh so you should be somewhat familiar with it or at least be able to figure it out uh let me see what we got going on here. Uh, there's a lot of questions in here, and I, I I thought maybe I should change it a little bit, but I ended up leaving it like it is. Uh, um, about redshift and blue shift. And so if you have redshift and blue shift down um, and you read the questions carefully, you should be able to, to get quite a few of these questions right. Um, if, if you're thinking right now, I don't know about the red shift and blue shift. Um, you need to go back and study it. Uh, go back to that section of the book, which is going to be talking about the Big Bang. Um, so that's going to be the Big Bang Theory part. Yeah, the Big Bang Theory. Uh, in my dual credit class, I had some students that, uh, and their their Big Bang answers, like I had two students that gave me like the lyrics to the Big Bang song, uh, which was pretty funny. No bonus points, but what? So do you actually believe in a theory? Honest to God, like, yeah, I mean, the, the, I don't want to like call you out for not paying attention or nothing, but if you've not like seen all the evidence that we like systematically went through about how like we can see and anybody can see all the different things that that prove that, uh, you know, the Big Bang Theory may not be perfectly right, but it's at least mostly right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean. It's okay if you don't. I mean, if you can believe in whatever you want to believe in, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't stand up here and try to teach you things that I think are objectively false or that I think could be easily disproven. Uh, and and note that this isn't me like creating this. The entire state of Texas, in fact, the entire country of the United States, um, literally everyone involved in education is like, yeah. High school students need to know this. Like, you need to understand this. You need to know that this is a real thing. Um, they're, we're not all just making this up. Um, if anybody were able to be like, yeah, this is totally false and made up, um, they would. And they'd be probably pretty famous because uh, the Big Bang Theory is one of the more famous uh, uh, theories that there are. So you should believe in it, too. At least read, read through it. Uh, if you haven't yet, now's the time because we're testing over tomorrow. Uh, read through it. Learn about the Doppler effect. Learn about the red shifts and the blue shifts and all the different things. Close your Chromebook. You, well, you can do it in a second. Close your Chromebook. I want you to pay attention. Yeah, I, I'm sure you're not on the snake game. Or anything. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. Evolution's not real. The Big Bang Theory's not real. Neither is gravity, so it's okay. Okay. I'm loving. Yeah, you're going to do great on the test. So uh, I'm sure this is going to work out for you really well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you'll never see friends.
where where do you where do you draw the line? Yeah. Okay, so listen, uh, you, we're going to talk about the Big Bang Theory, um, and you know what? There might even be a couple questions that hint at evolution, because we talked about the evolution. Well, we didn't really get to the evolution of life on Earth. Yeah, we did, with the different uh, time periods uh, and all the different uh, mass extinction events and stuff like that. So um, if, if, you, if you'd like to discuss this, I'm here every single activity period, and I'm I'm available to answer your questions. Yeah. Come come during activity period, and I will talk to you. No, if you know anything about evolution, we don't come from monkeys. Monkeys are different than us. That's how evolution works. Um, this branch on this tree didn't grow from that branch of that tree. That's not how trees work. That's not how evolution works. So just follow just a little bit, and you'll be okay. Yes. No, how about tomorrow after the test, when you get done with the test, you find something quietly to work on, like every single other test. So, yeah, yeah, no, 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 listen. If you want to talk about this stuff, literally I sit in here during activity period and just wait for students to come by and ask me questions. So um, you're welcome to come by in activity period. Uh, if you want to waste review time, you do it on somebody else's time, all right? Uh, so listen, we have questions about redshift. We have questions about blue shift. We have that one question about uh, electro, uh, not electro, uh, radiomagnetic dating. Um, so taking the uranium, looking at the half-life, looking at what percentage you have left of the uranium um, and how many half-lives you've gone through. Um, so make sure you understand that question. Uh, I did change it a little bit from the one that's in the assignment. So uh, make sure you're kind of up to date on that and understand that one. Uh, I got a couple questions about the geologic time scale. Um, I did put in one of the questions the actual geologic time scale, so you will have that visual reference for you. Um, if you have another question where it's not in there, just go back and find that other question, and you can look at the geologic time scale, and that should be able to help you out. Um, let's see. I got a question about the relative dating. So remember that the younger stuff is on bottom, the older stuff is on top, um, and they'll give you these three images, and you've got to kind of imagine moving them around a little bit. You want to match up the things that are alike. So if you have two little shells that look exactly the same, those layers were laid down at the same time. If you got to shift one of them up in your brain uh, to kind of make it move up or make the other one move down, you want to line those up and then tell me which one has the oldest rocks, which one has the youngest rocks, um, and then which one would be in the middle. Uh, let's see. There's questions about stars and galaxies. Um, some of those also have the red shift, blue shift in them, but like there's a question about how do we, uh, how do we classify galaxies? Um, so remember the three different types of galaxies, spiral, uh, irregular, and elliptical, and, and know what kind of classification that is and why we have those separated out. Uh, let's see. They talk about with the geologic time scale, they talk about the things that we use to separate out the different periods of the geologic time scale. Um, not just what starts one period and ends another period, which we talked a lot about, um, you know, the differences between the different periods, um, but all the evidence that we use to kind of build each of these. Because um, not every one ends in a mass extinction event. Um, you have differences between each of these little periods uh, and what happens in them. So, uh, I think that's about it. There's a lot of red shift and blue shift stuff and Doppler effect um, because we spend a lot of time talking about it. And so it, I don't know. It's, it's a little worrisome that you asked that question. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it. What? Did you say seven? It's 42. No, seven is the answer to everything. No, 42 is the answer to everything. He said 42. Yeah, why seven? What's that why from? 42? Why 42? Why'd you go from 42? Yeah, 42, 42 is from a famous book. Uh, Books aren't real. Okay. That's yeah. <laughs> and, and gravity is not real either. So, okay. gravity is yeah. not real. What's up? What's up? What's up? See, in this case. Is it true that we come from fish? Uh, so, what, what's seven from? So why can't we bring, bring water? Is that just something y'all like made seven, up? Seven? No, it just sounds smart. Call your cumber. Yeah, I guess we're uh, Yes. 
Are you, you talking about the I tool song? That's where they get it from, but no, it's like the, the, the thing has to do with like all of your kills of your body and stuff. Oh, really? No. Yeah, I've heard the song a million times, but now I don't know what he's well, talking that's about. That's where they get it from, but like it, it, there was. Are we talking about Youngboy? It's yeah. a talking about tools. Uh, uh, I don't know how that is, dude. Uh, uh, but, anyways, all right. So, uh, if, if you want to study, go ahead and go back to these assignments. I will actually go ahead and, uh, because you haven't been here, we did cover all the stuff in dual credit, but uh, if I'll, I will open up the assignments if you want to go back and look at them. Uh, so they'll, they'll be there for you. But yes, test is tomorrow. Uh, online people, if you have questions, please let me know, and uh, and I will I will get back to you. I'll probably, just so everybody knows, I will go through and assign the different sections of the reading that we covered. Um, so if you want to go back and look at the textbook and kind of study a little bit, um, those assignments will be open today and tomorrow uh, for you to use. Well, not tomorrow, because uh, tomorrow we're going to be taking the test. No, 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 no.